Can't Sleep by Karma Wilson. Illustrations by Jane Chapman. In his home in the forest, while the cold wind blows, Bear snuggles in his quilt from his nose to his toes. While the snowflakes fall and the drifts pile high, Bear tosses and he turns. Bear moans and he sighs. He stares at the wall. He's not tired at all, and the bear can't sleep. Pitter pat, tiptoe, mouse scurries in the lair to check on the fire for his good friend bear. Oh bear! Mouse squeaks. You are up too late. It is winter in the woods, and bears hibernate. Mouse frets. Dear me! While he brews mint tea, and the bear can't sleep. Bear is counting sheep. One, two, three, four. When the badger and the hare tumble in through the door. Oh, mouse! Said hare. We were just out walking. Bear should be asleep, but we both heard him talking. Bear snuggles down deep in a sad, furry heap, but he still can't sleep. Mouse turns down the lamp. Badger builds the fire up. Hare pours warm milk into Bear's tin cup. Then Gopher and Mole tunnel up to the lair. Mole frets and he fusses. It is bedtime for bears. The cold wind blows while the firelight glows, but the bear can't sleep. Wren, owl, and raven flutter, flutter inside to find bear awake with his eyes open wide. Wren hops to and fro. What else is there to try? A song to make him sleepy? So they sing a lullaby. All gathered in the lair, they hum along for bear, but he still can't sleep. I'm awake! Roars bear, and there's all there is to it. I have tried to fall asleep, but I just can't do it. I'm bored, bored, bored. So I'll spin you a tale. Once upon a time in the Strawberry Vale, the friends huddle in as the story begins. Since the bear can't sleep, bear tells a story he has never told before. But just before the end, there comes a rumbling snore. When the sun peeks up on the bright new dawn, the friends can't sleep. But the bear snores on. The end.